Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at our handheld remotes. Let's take a look at the buttons on your remote controller. Keep in mind that not all buttons and features are available throughout all of our products. Refer to your homeowner's guide for further details. Let's take a look at how the remote works. To turn it on, we're gonna press our on and off button. The left side column represents the modes. The middle column represents fan speed, as well as the vane position. The top right box represents the set point in which you have put the unit into. And as we can see, the bottom right is your clock. To adjust the temperature, simply press the down arrow or the up arrow. This will raise or lower the set point. To change the mode, press the mode button to cycle between the different modes. Our modes are represented by pictures. Currently, we see a picture with arrows pointing at each other. This represents auto mode. As we hit the button, it brings up our next mode, which is an icicle. The icicle represents cooling mode. If we hit the button again, a raindrop appears. The raindrop represents dry mode. And if we hit the button one more time, a sun appears. The sun represents heat mode. Now let's take a look at our fan button. The fan button is located at the top middle of your button layout. What represents the fan is at the top of the middle column. As you can see, the fan right now is set into what I refer to as a whirlwind. I think of this as almost as an auto mode. The fan's gonna ramp up and down based off of how the system is supposed to be running. But we can simply change the fan speed. If we hit it once, we put it into a mode that's referred to as quiet mode. If we hit it again, this is gonna be on the lowest fan speed. Hit it one more time, this is on medium. Again, high speed. And lastly, super high. Now, one of the more commonly used buttons that I like to talk about is the vane button. The vanes can be set to either blow out and up into the room, or it can be set to blow down. Right now, our vane position is set to what I refer to as the whirlwind, or an auto mode. As we hit the vane button, we can select where we want to set it at. Right now, our vane is set to blow out into the room. As we continue to hit our vane button, it lowers the vane setting. Once we've cycled through the position where we can set our vane, we also have an option for oscillate. What this is going to do is it's going to ramp the vane up and down to spread a more even row throughout the room. Some buttons that we haven't talked about can be found in the homeowner's guide. These buttons are such as the Econo Cool, Smart Set, and your timer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of tech tips and homeowner help.